going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So today's video, I want to talk about how to choose a MIDI controller. So I get a lot of DMs and I get a lot of people asking me questions and most things to do with music production. So I was helping out someone to find a MIDI controller. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on how to choose a MIDI controller, especially if you're a beginner, beat maker or a music artist that wants to start playing keys or manipulating sounds that you've got within Logic, FL Studio, Reason, Pro Tools, whatever you're using. So I'm going to give you a few things to consider when you're ready to purchase a MIDI controller. But first, before we jump into that, I need to shout out my two new subscribers. Zoo Kuma Ready, I hope I haven't annihilated your name. Drop a comment if I got your name right, hope I have. And Audio Firms Music Group, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate that. I hope you hit the notification bell as well, so we'd have got notified when this video dropped today and for future videos. Best comment for this week's coming from Boogie Funk Productions, appreciate that comment. Yeah, the comment was cool, you can tell you got good energy, I like that. That's what you want on this channel, that's what you want in this community. Good vibes always. Let's dive into this video. A MIDI controller doesn't play sound, so if it comes with an adapter and you plug it into all, you ain't gonna hear no sound. It's not like a keyboard, an actual keyboard that you can play sounds and you have different presets on. So with the MIDI controller, it allows you to manipulate the sounds that's inside your door, your digital audio workstation, which will be Logic Pro, Reason, FL Studio, whatever music software you're using, the MIDI controller will allow you to play the sounds that you've chosen. So there's a few things you wanna take into consideration before you buy your first MIDI controller. First of all, you want to know how much you're willing to pay out. What's your budget? Once you've got an idea of what your budget is, then you can start thinking about how many keys you want. Maybe you've got a mobile setup, laptop, MacBook Pro, and you want to move around, be mobile. So you could look at the Akai 25 keys. That would probably suit you better. My first controller was a, I think it was Novation. Yeah, paid for by my mum. Them times I was broke, had no money. Mum paid for my controller. That's a whole nother video. So if you're looking to go mobile, prefer to be, be on the go, take your, your mobile setup into different places, outside, different rooms, whatever suits you. So I'd look into a mini controller. You don't want 49 keys and 60, 61 keys. It doesn't make any sense. And if you're looking to have it something like mine. So you've got your desktop controller. So then you've got to think about the space that you've got. Is the controller going to fit in the space? Is it going to fit on your, on your workstation? So when, if you're going to choose one, have a look at the specs and see whether or not it's going to fit on your actual workstation because it doesn't make no sense if it's too big and you're struggling to, to make it fit. So if there's a music production shop in your area that you're able to go to and test out a few of the different MIDI controllers, then I would suggest going down there. And you want to know what the different controllers feel like, then get down to a shop that sells MIDI controllers and have a go. Ask them if you can take them out of the box, maybe plug them in and see how it feels, if, this, if that's important to you. I've had a few different MIDI controllers and I've never been too bothered about how the feel of the keys are. But maybe that's important to you. But that's something to take into consideration. Going back to how much you're willing to pay, what your budget is. Some are quite cheap. Like I said, one of the first ones was bought by my mum. Um, second one was this one. I, I don't want to I don't want to get rid of it. It doesn't work anymore. Bro, died on me. I don't know, I don't know what's happened to it. It's all dusty and that. But I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Made so many bangers on that keyboard there, that MIDI controller, and um, that cost me about sixty pound. And it done the job. It doesn't have any pads to play drums off. It's just keys and modulation and pitch, which is cool. Obviously, if you're going to pay more money, you're going to get better specs. For example, the Novation Forty Nine that I'm using at the moment, that's got drum pads. It's got it's got sliders. If jump pads is something that you like, that's also another thing to take into consideration because you might like the the old the MPC style of playing in your drum patterns on pads. So find one that has drum pads. So you might just want keys, keys with jump pads. You might want keys with drum pads and sliders. But there's plenty out there to choose from. I'm gonna drop some links in the, in the description below so you can click on. A couple of them might be my affiliate links from Amazon, so I get a little percentage from you making that purchase. Maybe you want sounds from the actual company that you're buying the MIDI controller from. Example, Atoria comes bundled with software, so you can you get Analog Lab with it, which has got some sweet sounds in there. Uh, I know there's a few others that come with their software bundles. So have a look, do some research, put a search in Google, MIDI controller with software bundle, see what comes up, see what suits you. If you can get down to a PMT online or Guitar Center, then go down there with your list of different controllers so you can get a little feel of what they're like. I always say to beat makers or artists who are just starting out, don't go for the highest spec. Build it up. You appreciate it more. I did. Maybe that's just me. But I like to see progress. So you start small and gradually build it up. 
So those are my tips on how to choose a MIDI controller. If there's anything you're unsure about, drop a comment below or hit me up on Insta and I'll try and help you the best I can. I'm also going to drop some links in the description below so you can check out some of the MIDI controllers that I recommend. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.